Who needs to input into policy? Well, the best policy making is done with a broad group of people from different backgrounds with different perspectives. However, in reality, there's usually a trade-off between involving lots of people and getting the policy making done quickly enough. In health policy, people with lived experience are increasingly used to shape policy, write and even deliver policy. And there are a number of co-production tools that have been developed to help us do that. Depending on the policy, there may even be legal responsibilities to involve certain groups and in the UK to consult with the public on major changes to health services. How are policies agreed and then implemented? Well, as a general rule, policies are agreed and implemented within the specific governance that the policymaker operates. So if you think about the national UK budget, that's proposed by the Chancellor of the Exchequer, it's voted on by Parliament and then implemented by the civil service. So what you need to do is understand who the policymaker is and what their decision making process is. And for health, many of those issues will be owned by local health boards or even by local government.